everybody, today for you guys I'm doing a very in-depth look into smoky eyes. Um, I'm starting this new series where it's just going to be kind of in-depth tutorials about different things. I'm going to be doing um, like how to smoke out your lower lash line, uh, kind of my contouring and highlighting routine, just certain things where they're not necessarily beginner videos. I mean they could be taken as that and you could definitely, if you are a beginner, use these videos and learn a lot from them. But they're just sort of more in-depth as to why I do certain things that I talk about all the time. So today I'm going to give you a very basic smoky eye. Now this is a look that you can definitely pull colors out of your own collection and sort of just have fun with it, but the placement of the colors is what's important. So that's really what I focused on in this is not the exact colors necessarily, but just the placement and sort of the overall tone you want the shadows to be. So for today's smoky eye, I did a really pretty sort of deep teal and I will go in and explain to you guys what type of blending shade you want to use depending on what shades you are using and I am not lying when I say that I really tell you how to use every single color. I mean you could do this with deep purple, you could do this with black, you could do this with gray. And like I said in the tutorial I talk a little bit more about that. Anyway I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's just get on into it. Alright, so there is what one eye looks completed. If my eyelashes look really screwed up on the side, it's because I think I curled them wrong. So when I went to go apply my mascara, it was just a total mess. But I was not wanting to wash it completely off, just have to redo it. So just try to ignore it. I know they look very wonky, but let's get on to doing this. I'm going to start by using a white base because we are using a shadow today that's matte. So it does apply a little bit more blotchy. It's not the worst matte I've ever used, but um, because it is a matte texture, it just needs a little bit of help. So this here is the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in the shade Eternal White. And I'm just going to start here by just you know taking a little bit of this pencil all over my lid and then blending it with my finger. As you can see, I have already applied some tape. That's just going to give us a really nice, precise line. For a smoky eye, what I always start with is a blending shade. Now, depending on uh, the tone of the eye, whether you're wanting it to be warm or cool, you can use like a light brown, a light mauve. Um, personally, whenever I am using teals or I'm using blues, I really like to go opposite of the color wheel. So if you're to look at a color wheel, those tealish, bluish colors are across from orange, which means those colors are going to complement each other and are going to work really nicely. So I like to use something warmer as you can kind of see. So I'm going to go into the Naked palette and I'm going to use the shade Naked. I use this shade all the time. It is definitely the most used shade from this palette because it's not too warm. It's not too cool, but it definitely does have a little bit more of a warmth than it does it cool. I wouldn't necessarily call it a cool or neutral shade. It is warm, but it's not super orangey. So it's going to look really, really flattering, especially on my fair skin. And I'm just taking this with this L brush. You can find this at Kohl's and this is called the Fluff Brush. I was trying to find you guys a different alternative to like the Sigma E40 and that Sonia Kashuk brush I use all the time and this is what I was able to come up with and it works awesome like I am so so happy with this brush if you have a Kohl's definitely go get this again it's from this uh, brand L and it's called the fluff and I just am picking up a tiny little bit of that color here and I'm just going to start to throw this in the crease what this is going to do it's going to help to blend that matte shade which is going to give it more of a soft, kind of smokier appearance rather than just it being very blotchy or it looking too harsh. It's going to give that more kind of sexy smoldering effect and it's just going to help make the blending process a lot easier on you. And as you can see, I like to take this pretty up close to my brow bone. It's just going to give that really sort of blown out effect. Alright, so that's good for now. We'll come back to doing some more blending steps here in a little bit. But now we're going to take the main focus of the look, which is the lid shade. Um, again, you can go with anything. I, today, am using a really deep teal, but colors that I think are most flattering to fair, to light, to light medium skin tones are deep purples, charcoal grays, deep blues, deep teals, anything that's just sort of got a deep, rich tone to it, but isn't completely black. Now, if you are a little bit darker you can definitely pull off a black smoky eye you know use your really really intense really really dark colors but um, if you're a little bit fairer like me those can just look a little bit too intense sometimes so I think sticking with just deeper colors that are you know almost black but not totally there is a lot more flatter. Today I'm going to be using Max Plumage. A lot of you have been wanting me to use this in a tutorial which is why I also wanted to film this video. This is a beautiful just really dark deep intense teal shade and I'm going to be picking this up 
up with a Sigma E55 brush. The shadow is a little bit dry, it is a little bit stiff, but it's really, really pretty and it gives the most gorgeous, really like, um, you know, smoky effect. So with this, I'm just going to begin to tap this just all over my eyelid. Again, because this is a matte, it does take a little bit of patience and you do have to build it up a little bit, but it is totally worth it because once you get there, it looks just beautiful. So simply just push this all over the lid, up into your crease, don't really worry about blending yet, and just continue to do this until you are happy with the result. Alrighty, and then once you have reached your desired intensity for the shade, we are then going to go into another mid-tone kind of blending shade. Just like how we use Naked, we're just going to go into something a little bit deeper. Again, if you're wanting to do a more cool tone look, by the way, I do have a cool tone smoky eye. It's my date night smoky eye. I'll definitely link it below. I gave you guys a few tips on how to pull that off because I think that um, just warmer tones tend to make it look less bruisey, and if you are doing a cool tone look or something very plummy, very kind of um, mauve -y, it can look kind of bruisey, to be honest. And so uh, that's why I personally like to stick with warm browns, but you can do whatever you want. You just want to go into something a tad deeper than what you have already placed in your crease. So where before we use Naked, I am now going to go into Buck, which as you can see here, just sort of comparing them, is a little bit deeper. It's not a deep brown or like a really dark brown by any means. It's still sort of like a mid-tone brown. It's just slightly deeper than Taking this on the same exact brush, I'm just going to begin to buff this into the crease. I'm not taking this as high as I did the last color, so this really isn't going to go up towards my brow bone. It's just going to stick right here in sort of this socket line area. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our lid shade. So again, I'm using Plumage from MAC. We're going to take this on a, a different type of a blending brush. This is a MAC 217. I'm sure you guys all know about these types of brushes. Uh, Sigma has a version, the E25. Sedona Lace has a version. There are tons of brushes out there like this. I wish that there were more available, like, you know, in drugstores and stuff. But um, it's a really, really great brush. It's just a little bit smaller and a little bit more tapered than something like this fluff brush. So I'm just picking up a little bit of that shadow on here. And we are just going to now work on blending blending out the color. So I'm just going right above where we stop. Kind of, you know, doing your whole windshield wiper motions, kind of mixing it with some circular motions. Begin to blend that shade. And this sort of dark shade is going to mix in with those mid-tone browns and it's going to create kind of a different shade upon its own. You know, it's going to start looking, at least for this color, a little bit more gray. And this is really nice because then you don't have to go in with a separate crease shade. This is going to work and kind of add that dimension for you. So once you are happy with how blended you have it, I think the more you kind of blend it, the better, but you still want it, you know, to be nice and smoky and dark so you don't want to like over blend it into like oblivion where there's nothing there. Um, I'm just going to go back into Naked now. That first mid-tone blending shade we use, the one that's a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to reapply a little bit of this right above there. Um, I just, I really, really like having a like really strong kind of brown warm effect right above the shadow, so that's why I do this. Definitely just leave it alone and have it as is, but I think to make the look a little bit stronger, it's really nice if you add this. Alrighty then, it is time for liner. My favorite liner in the entire world is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. You can use any eyeliner you want, gel, you know, pencil, whatever. I always like to do a little bit of a wing. Again, that's optional. Just line your eyes how you would normally do it. I think that if you also take a black pencil and smudge it out, that will give you even more of like a smoky, more of a sexy look. But I kind of like the look of more of a cat eye, so I like winging it out. And this whole process, again, is so much easier if you have that tape because you can screw up as much as you want. And then once you pull that tape off, it's going to give you the perfect line. So now I'm just going to go in and do a little bit of highlighting on my eyes. Today I'm going to be using Max Shroom, which is this shade right here. It's just a nice kind of beigey white that has a little bit of a sheen to it. Depending on whether your lid shade is shimmery or matte, should dictate what your highlight shade is. Because my lid shade is matte, I'm going to use a shimmery highlight. However, whenever I do shimmer on the lid, I always use a matte highlight. It just sort of adds a little bit of balance to the look and doesn't make it look too matte, too flat, or too shimmery. Just taking this on a small brush and pushing it right here up on my brow bone. Whenever I do a smoky look, just to make sure that we aren't going to look too sick or too tired, I like to add a little bit of my highlight shade just right into my inner corner just to brighten things up a little bit. And now we can peel off our tape.
and see how you just get that perfectly straight edge I just think it's so flattering and it makes your look look so much more put together next we're just going to add um, some eyeliner into our water lines or I guess right now our tight line this is the Jane water resistant eyeliner it is by far my favorite for this it just stays put so well and um, it just is so black and really intense All right, now time to get our smoky lower lash line. I am actually going to be doing a whole separate video again in this series about this. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail as to why I'm doing everything right now. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. But um, definitely stay tuned for the kind of smoky lower lash line video if you want to know, you know, exactly how to get that really blown out smoky lower lash line. Basically, uh, just start with whatever your lightest mid-tone blending shade was. So again, I'm going into Naked. You can see I really like to use this shade a lot. And I'm um, taking it on the same MAC 217 that we used earlier. I'm just going to blend this right on my lower lash Next, line. Let's go into your lid shade. And I like to take this on just some type of a small little tiny crease brush. And then more precisely, push this really, really close to the lash line. Alright, so now this is the part where I go in and I line my waterline. And then I always take a push liner brush and any type of a either dark brown or black eyeshadow. I'm going to be using a blackout today from the Naked 2 palette. Any sort of color you know will work. You definitely don't have to use this and one. And with this, just stamp it right there at the lashes. Alrighty, and then now just apply whatever mascara you want. I'm using the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster because it is my favorite. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'll be right back when I have my eyebrows finished, and then the rest of my face finished, and I'll show you guys what I use. Alrighty, guys, so this here is the completed look. I am personally, like, really, really happy with how it turned out. I think it's sexy, but it's still wearable, and it's pretty. Um, this is the kind of makeup that I like to wear on a daily basis, actually. So I really like this. This is, like, a go-to kind of for me. So for the rest of my face, I just, I kept it very simple. Um, for foundation, I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation and then I concealed a little bit and highlighted with the um, NARDS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla since I've started to do self tanning. This is way too light for me, but it works perfect as a highlighter. And I just set that with a little bit of my MAC MSF Natural. Um, as for cheeks, I used everything from this Hard Candy. This is the um, Contouring Face Trio in the shade Three Times a Lady. You guys know that I love these things and I've just been obsessed with this. It has seriously been featured in like five or six of my videos now. I love this little palette of colors here. You get a really nice corally blush and I've said this a million times whenever I do blue, whenever I do teal, whenever I do anything regarding that kind of color scheme, I always put on a coral because I think it is so flattering. So I use the corally blush and then the bronzer. I did not use a highlighter because I think the blush is shiny enough where it um, works just fine and it kind of does the job for the highlight. So anyway, that is what I used on the cheeks and then for the lips, I used this Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade Nude. I just like to keep it really simple. I think a smoky eye and a nude lip is just like a classic. It's one of those things that I don't think is ever going to go out of style. And it just looks really flattering and pulls the whole look together. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it really informative. If you're new to smoky eyes, if you are wanting just a good kind of go-to smoky eye routine, this is perfect. So let me know what you guys think of the look in the comments down below. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.